Hey everyone, my name is Adam Michan. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach, and today I want to go over with you one technique that can be used in singing, and that is the technique of vocal twang. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. So what is twang. When we're dealing with vocal sounds, a lot of people mistake in it for nasality. Now, twang can potentially place the voice a little bit more in the nasal cavity, but it's not the same as singing through your nose. It's important to realize that twang will split the resonance between the mouth and the nasal cavity, and you'll actually get a pharyngeal bass sound that really allows the voice to resonate through both cavities simultaneously. And that's the real benefit with twang is that you're able to connect your registers because head voice and chest voice are placed in different cavities in the body, primarily chest in the mouth, head voice up into the in nasal cavity. And so we're splitting that resonance. And when we get that split of resonance, we're able to connect the registers much easier. Now, an easy exercise that can get most singers making a pharyngeal twang sound is the NG sound. When we make an NG, we close off the back of the mouth from being able to have any sound actually occur in the mouth. And it places a little bit more emphasis on the musculature that's required in the back of the throat to be able to create twang on the sound. So what I wanted to do is make an NG sound like at the end of the word sing fits. Sing sing and just hold that last note. If you want to sing with more confidence and power, then you have to sign up for my lesson subscription. You get two group lessons with me personally every single week. You get access to all my courses and you get access to recordings of all my one-on-one -on -one lessons with my students. That will help you learn vicariously through them. Click the link down below to sign up now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually open up. So this is going to be the exercise. We're going to go sing, uh, sing, oh, sing, And the goal is, as we open up to each one of those vowels, is to try to keep that same sort of sensation and feeling of buzz that we get from the NG over into those sounds. So we're going to continue up. Sing, ah, do this with me. Sing, oh, sing. And you could choose whether to put vibrato on it or if you want to keep it straight tone, that's perfectly fine as well. Sing, ah, sing, oh, sing. Sing, 
singa 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 mess up that one singa Really shouldn't be smiling on that one, but I was in the middle of smiling. So there you get the idea of what you need to do. And you slowly work from the bottom of your range up to the top of your range. And you try to see if with each one, can you keep it in the same placement as the NG sound? It's going to be a very lifted, very buzzy sound that we keep going throughout all of our vowels. Some of you might find that at certain vowels, you'll get a sing and it shifts very clearly when you start doing the vowel. That's a clear indication that you're losing a lot of that twang quality in your voice. And if you guys like this video, then I know for sure you're gonna like this one too. Check it out.